Hey you guys, it's Moonlander back with another horror movie review. And today we're going to be looking at the new movie called Camera Obscuria. This movie is directed by Aaron B. Koontz, who also co-wrote this movie. And he was a producer of Starry Eyes. Which I think is one of the better horror movies that I've seen in some time. So this movie is about a photographer suffering from PSTD. Um, and he was a war photographer. And he lives with his fiance and he's unemployed and just kind of trying to deal, I guess, with his disorder. I don't know. So his fiance buys him an old camera at an auction uh, and she thinks it might rekindle his interest in photography. And she also suggests a job dealing with real estate where he would photograph properties. So he takes this old camera and goes around taking pictures of properties. And when he has the film developed, they'll only develop in black and white. And for some reason, there's dead bodies in the pictures. What the hell? There was something in the photos that I can't explain. He discovers that they're dead bodies of deaths that are going to happen. And he decides that he's going to try to prevent these deaths. Eventually, he sees his girlfriend in the picture dead. And uh, he figures out that if he kills people in some sort of chain effect, he could possibly prevent his girlfriend's death. So he goes on murdering people that he feels, I guess, don't really deserve to live. I don't know. His choices are like hookers or creeps, uh, you know, an obnoxious hardware store manager. <laughs> so I don't have any good things to say about this movie. Uh, so I'm going to jump right into the things I don't like about this movie. So this is a polished movie. Uh, it looks well and uh, all of the actors are decent actors. But the main character of the movie is just really unlikable. Uh, I think you're supposed to care about him and sympathize with him. But they failed at making you care about this guy at all. I just found him to be really obnoxious. And they also made a really odd casting decision for a police detective in this movie. The first time I saw her, I, I couldn't believe my eyes. It's like this 60 year old woman uh, with like a blowout hairdo. I mean, it was a really odd casting decision. I mean, I guess uh, the more I saw her, I, I guess she seemed okay, but I just found that really strange. <laughs> and the girlfriend is like, probably like the dream girlfriend, like she cares for him. So, I mean, it was just totally unrealistic. And if I knew somebody like that, and this is how their boyfriend or fiance behaved, I would suggest that they see a therapist. So on Amazon they had a trailer to watch uh, and I watched it and it was a clip from the movie uh, of the main character like laying on top of his girlfriend you know asking her what day it was it's like their anniversary whatever I just uh, when I watched the movie and saw this scene it was creepy and not in a good way good morning beautiful you're awake before me twice in one week that's the real jack is that you <laughs> uh, i am the real jack uh i i i just found that to be a really off-putting scene and my wife even said creepy as i was writing creepy down 
Uh, the, yeah, it was just a terrible scene, I thought. <laughs> So I also feel like this movie was kind of confused in the direction of the type of movie it wanted to be. Um, I feel like they're trying to make like a black comedy, but it's like not funny at all. I mean, I just f found uh, some of the scenes you felt like were supposed to be funny were just kind of off-putting and done wrong. And it's supposed to be unnatural for him to do these murders. And uh, I felt like they wanted you to find some sort of humor uh, in him trying to conduct the murder. But I, I, it just doesn't work in this movie. And I also didn't like the music choice for this movie. Uh, they chose to do kind of like a 80s retro style of music. Um, so, like something you might have seen in an 80s slasher movie. And I really don't think it fits this movie. Uh, and I found it obnoxious that uh, they probably thought it was a cool idea. And really, it just doesn't work at all, I don't think. Anyway, so my final thoughts on this movie is it has a pretty high IMDB rating. I think it was like 6.7. So, I mean, I guess some people like this movie, but for me, I completely hated this movie. By the time this movie was finished, I genuinely felt like I disliked this director, not just as a filmmaker and writer, but as a human being. <laughs> so I'm going to give this movie a 1 out of 10. It, it just, it really got on my nerves, everything about it. I, I couldn't understand the characters or what they were trying to go for as far as the type of movie it was. Uh, I mean, it just didn't make sense to me. Alright, you guys, I'll see you on the next one.